Salut, c'est Soya Studio et c'est un fav vendredi favorite. <laughs> you know what? I tried. I took French in high school. I only really know how to eat French food and that's really it. Anyway, this is Sawyer Studios and this is a Friday Favorites and this Friday Favorite is my favorite out of country Lego purchase ever. <laughs> really no minifigures to get into because this is an architecture set. I got this set when me and the Corral, me and the Corral, the Corral and I, when I was up, when the Corral and I went on our international tour, the Roberts Corral, we went on our international tour to France. Uh, unfortunately, we were going to sing in Notre Dame, but a couple months before we left, that's when Notre Dame uh, caught fire and burned down, which was a travesty and that was just absolutely horrifying and terrible so um, but we got to see a lot of it being rebuilt while we were there unfortunately we weren't able to sing the, our concert there like we were going to but you know uh, sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles and I got this set right before we were about to leave because I can't go on a trip without buying Lego and I was like what more appropriate set to buy in France than the Paris France architecture set. So this is the set. Uh, I'm just going to do the review from here. Uh, there are really six, seven places, six places on this, uh, I guess, boardwalk um, display that is really shown. Obviously, you got the Eiffel Tower right here. That's not too hard to spot. You have the Arc de Triomphe, the Champs Elysees, uh, the Tour Montparnasse, which we didn't go to see just because this is a newer landmark of Paris, France. It's not really historical. I think it was, uh, I think it was erected in 2007. I think it's like that early, like within the past decade. I guess it's not the past decade anymore. In the past two decades. You have the Grand Palais, um, obviously the Eiffel Tower right here, and then the Musée du Louvre. So I really like everything that is shown here. We have a very nice Eiffel Tower build. I like the French flag at the very top. That's a nice touch. Uh, once again, didn't visit this place, so not quite sure. But the Arc de Triomphe, uh, this was a very nice memorial in the middle of a very huge roundabout that if I were to drive in France, I would definitely get in a crash instantly. I don't know how cars maneuver through there. But this is a very nice memorial. There was, um, you have the eternal flame right in the center of it, um, which is for the fallen soldiers, I believe. And over here, the uh, Champs Elysees. This is like the this is like the mall area. It's like the shopping center. Uh, we got to shop in a lot of the stores along here yes there are trees like this alongside and it's right next to um the arc du triomphe so that's really cool that they put them next to each other we got some really awesome uh pastries baguettes um we got to see a lot of boulangeries uh along there it was it was a very nice this was a very nice just mellow relaxful just stroll through like this downtown area of shops and stuff it was very cool um we also did not go to the royal palace um we did end up going to versailles that's not in paris france so that's why it's not on this little boardwalk uh lego display but we did not go here this was not a place that we went to um i'm sure that it's just as accurate we did go see the louvre um this place was massive like there were absolutely so much so much property to this museum I, I i mean i've seen pictures of it i just didn't imagine or fathom how big it actually was uh the pyramid was absolutely amazing to see in person the fountains um there was a garden right outside of the museum that we got to walk through as well everything this was just 
a really cool place to see just to be in in person um and the artwork of course was amazing Mona Lisa beautiful uh so yeah I was just a really a really awesome uh, museum to visit then the Eiffel Tower we got to go all the way up at least I did my group was able to go all the way up to the very top it's actually a couple levels to the Eiffel Tower this first level right here there's actually restaurants and shops on this level and we visited that level last there's a place in this first level where there's glass floor so you can walk out and just look down and see everything below which for me I have a personal fear of heights or as Wrecker would like to put it I don't have a fear of heights I just have a problem with gravity when I'm up so high uh, and then you do have other levels that you can visit there are there's a level up here um, that's pretty high and then you can actually go up one more level I believe even higher I have some very nice pictures of the landscapes around you can see everything you could even see Notre Dame from up here on the Eiffel Tower uh, which is extremely beautiful the view was so amazing it was very windy I, I was definitely in fear for my life that I would drop my phone a lot while taking pictures but I didn't so there's that the Eiffel Tower as I said is very accurate I like how Lego used utilized the tile pieces the graded pieces on the side I think that was a very smart thing to do I, I like the printed pieces they gave us at the bottom and yeah it's just a it was a it's a very nice build it's a very simple build I like the architecture sets that Lego has provided us I don't have a lot of them but they definitely are really cool so why is this my favorite out of country buy well this was a meaningful trip um, being able to tour internationally with the Roberts Corral, um, being part of a of a corral is r such a cool thing. We're really a family, and you really get to know people um, when you're in a different country on the bus. You know, going around touring, um, doing concert to concert, living with them for a week, um, you get to really form these deep connections. One of the members of the corral, she's actually an international exchange student from France. Or Family. She grew up there. They really did a lot of work helping us with the tour, organization, translation, getting us set up with different churches there for venues, uh, providing us a homestead, uh, providing meals. Like They're an absolutely amazing family, so they are great. Um, they absolutely went above and beyond what they had to do for us, so that was amazing. And getting this Lego set and looking at this Lego set really reminds me of all the great times uh, I had in Paris. Uh, and we didn't just stay in Paris, you know, as I said, we went to Versailles, we went to Normandy. This was the, I think, 45th anniversary of D-Day, or no, 75th anniversary of D-Day. It's not been 45 years, Nathan. Uh, so yeah, we were there for that as well. We got to see a lot of the museums. Um, we went to the cemetery for all of the war veterans uh, that had given their lives uh, fighting in World War II. And overall, it's just a very cultural, enrichful, and memorable trip that I, of course, wanted to remember by getting the Lego set. <laughs> but hey, that's me. All right, everyone. So that is the Friday favorites today. Not a Star Wars set. A different set so a little different Friday favorites but thank you for watching or merci beaucoup um, please like comment subscribe down below uh, click that bell icon so you know when I'm posting new content and this is Sora Studios I'll see you all in the next video mm -hmm.